Hi everybody, and welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to go over all the possible ways to calculate volume to get the best results even in the most specific cases. In 3D Survey, we have a couple of different ways to calculate volume. Yet the first step of every volume calculation is having your regular grid mesh calculated. To calculate it, we first click Mesh in the toolbar and select the first option, Calculate New Regular Grid Mesh or DSM. First, we choose the point cloud we want to use. If you have already classified your point cloud, you also choose which classes you want to select. Next, we pick our grid cell size, hole filling mode and smoothing cell size. For most cases, we can use the default values and calculate our mesh by clicking Calculate. Now we are ready for volume calculation. We have two methods of selecting the desired area. First using Select tool and second using CAD data. We also have two methods of selecting the initial and the final surface, meaning we can use only one DSM and choose the interpolate surface as the initial surface, or we can use two DSMs where one represents the before or initial surface and the other after or final surface. Let's start with the easiest and the most used method. Here we have a pile of gravel to which we want to calculate the volume. The most basic option is to select the desired area by clicking select and then using the left mouse clicks to circle the area. When we are done, we confirm our decision with a right mouse click. We can see that the area we circled changed its color. That means it is selected. If you have selected too big of an area, you can use the deselect button the same way you would use the select button, only you are deselecting all the selected area. Also, if you want to deselect everything, you can use the clear button which deselects everything. When we have the desired area selected, we can move on to calculating its volume. We do that by clicking the Calculate Volume button, found under Tools. In this case, we choose Interpolate Surface as the initial surface and the DSM we just calculated as the final surface. As a tip, these settings will be set as default if we select our DSM in the list of meshes, yet it has to be the only one selected. After that, we click from Current Selection and our volume is calculated. The presented results contain Fill, meaning the volume of added mass, Cut, representing the volume of removed mass, Total, meaning the sum of fill and cut volume, Area 3D, meaning three-dimensional area of selected surfaces, Area 2D, which represents the horizontal area of selected surfaces. When we calculate any volume, it gets saved in the Volume tab. There we can also show or hide it, or do other things, which we will talk about later in the video. So, before we determine the area we want to calculate by selecting the area, now we are going to see how we use CAD data to calculate volume. We can use CAD data we have drawn in the CAD tab. We can also import CAD data by going to CAD in the toolbar, clicking Load CAD and selecting our data. So to calculate volume, we go to the Mesh tab if we are not there already and click Calculate Volume. We once again choose Interpolate Surface as the initial surface and our DSM as the final surface. After that, we click From CAD and there we choose which layers to use for selecting the area. Of course, the lines we want to use must be closed or we won't be able to select the area. Now we click Calculate and we get our results. Now, 
we see that each closed line represents a separate volume. Ok, now let's check out the second way of volume calculation. In this method, we will use two DSMs to calculate volume. For example, let's say you had made a DSM out of a pile of gravel on the construction site. Now the hole has been dug in the same spot. After that, you go outside again and make a DSM of that hole. In the example I'm showing you, we have a before and after of hole digging process. This here is the state before the hole was dug. We save this DSM by clicking Mesh and Save As. After that, we open our new project from when the hole has already been dug and load the mesh we have saved by clicking Mesh and Load. Now we have two different meshes. First, we must select them both. This is very important as we must select the area on both meshes. After that, we must choose our selection method. If we already have CAD data that represents our volume, we can use that, as we did before, or else if we don't, we use the SELECT button to select the area we want to calculate. After that, we click CALCULATE VOLUME. For the initial surface, we choose our BEFORE mesh, and for the final surface, our AFTER mesh. We click FROM CURRENT SELECTION, or from CAD, depending on our selection method. Our volume is calculated. We can now move to the volume step. Here are all the volumes we have calculated. We can show or hide them by selecting them in the list of volumes. In the total results, we can see our fill, cut, total, 3D area and 2D area values for all the currently shown volumes combined. We can also edit fill and cut values under height map to better visualize the volume. Also, if we hover above the volume, we see before and after values and fill or cut values, depending on the area we are looking. Ok, so these were basically all the volume calculation methods supported in 3D Survey. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can check out the 3D Survey forum or write us on support at 3dsurvey.si. Have fun surveying and see you next time.